Hey there, fellow homeowners, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Electricity Frenzy. I'm your host, and today we're diving into a question many of you have been asking, can low voltage damage your air conditioner? Well, let's find out. So, imagine this, it's a scorching hot summer day, and you're relying on your trusty air conditioner to keep you cool. But suddenly, you notice a flicker in the lights, or maybe you experience some electrical issues in your home. You start wondering, could this low voltage be harmful to my AC unit? Well, let's break it down. As a homeowner, it's important to understand the potential risks of low voltage on your air conditioner. While most modern air conditioners are designed to handle a range of voltages, consistently operating below the recommended voltage can indeed cause problems. Here's what you should know. 1. Reduced cooling efficiency. When your air conditioner operates at low voltage, it may struggle to function optimally. The reduced voltage can affect the compressor, which is a vital component responsible for cooling the air. As a result, your AC may struggle to maintain the desired temperature and take longer to cool your home. 2. Increased energy consumption. A low voltage condition can force your air conditioner to work harder to compensate for the reduced power supply. This increased workload can lead to higher energy consumption, resulting in inflated electricity bills. 3. Compressor damage. The compressor is like the heart of your air conditioner. If it consistently operates at low voltage, it can put undue stress on the compressor, potentially causing damage. This can be an expensive repair or even require a complete replacement of your AC unit. But that's not all. Low voltage can also impact the sensitive electronics within your air conditioner. These electronic components, such as control boards and sensors, rely on a stable voltage to function properly. When exposed to consistently low voltage, these electronics can malfunction, leading to erratic operation or even complete failure of your air conditioner. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks. Now, you might be wondering, how can I determine if low voltage is affecting my air conditioner? Well, it's time to play detective. One way to check the voltage is by using a voltage meter. You can measure the voltage at the air conditioner's electrical panel or consult a professional electrician who can help you diagnose any voltage-related issues. But fret not, my friends. Here are a few tips to protect your air conditioner from low voltage damage. 1. Install a voltage stabilizer. Consider investing in a voltage stabilizer or surge protector. These devices regulate the incoming voltage to ensure a stable and safe power supply to your air conditioner. They act as a shield against sudden voltage fluctuations. 2. Regular maintenance. Keep your air conditioner in tip-top shape by scheduling regular maintenance with a qualified HVAC technician. They can inspect your AC unit, identify any voltage-related issues, and perform necessary repairs or adjustments. 3. Consult an electrician. If you suspect low voltage issues or notice any electrical irregularities in your home, it's always a good idea to consult a licensed electrician. They have the expertise to assess your electrical system and recommend appropriate solutions. Remember, friends, your air conditioner is an investment in your comfort, and protecting it from low voltage is essential for its longevity and efficiency. That's all for today's episode of Electricity Frenzy. I hope you found this information helpful and now have a better understanding of how low voltage can potentially damage your air conditioner, including its sensitive electronics. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things electricity. And if you want to explore more about low voltage issues in your house, I've got another video dedicated to that topic. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay cool and stay safe.